BP344 Accessibility Law. Batas Pambansa bilang 344 or Accessibility Law. An act to enhance the mobility of disabled persons by requiring certain buildings, institutions, establishments, and other public utilities to install facilities and other devices. Accessibility features Outside or around buildings Drop curves Changes in level walkways should be by a drop curve. Drop curves should be provided at pedestrian crossings and at the end of walkways of a private street or access road. Drop curves at crossings have a width corresponding to the width of the crossing. Otherwise, the minimum width is 0.90 meters. Drop curve shall be ramped towards adjoining curves with a gradient not more than 1 is to 12. Drop curve should be sloped towards the road with the maximum cross gradient of 1 is to 20 to prevent water from collecting at the walkway. The lowest point of a drop curve should not exceed 25 mm from the road or gutter. Curb cutouts. Curb cutouts should only be allowed when it will not obstruct a walkway or in any way lessen the width of a walkway. Minimum width 0.90 meters. Rump maximum gradient 1 is to 12. Walkways plus passages. Walkways should be kept as level as possible and provided with slip resistant material. Minimum width 1.2 meters. Maximum gradient 1 is to 20. Maximum cross gradient 1 is to 100. Avoid locating gratings along walkways. Grating openings should have a maximum dimension of 13 mm by 13 mm and shall not project more than 6.5 mm above the walkway. In lengthy or busy walkways, turning spaces or rest stops should be provided at some point along the route so that a wheelchair may pass another or turn around. Minimum turning space, 1.5 meters, and should be spaced at a maximum distance of 12 meters between stops. To guide the blinds, walkway should follow straightforward routes, if possible, with right angle turns. Minimum walkway headroom, 2 meters. Adjacent plantings, street furniture, bollards, signposts, columns, etc. should not obstruct walkways or reduce them to less than the minimum required clearances. Handrails. Handrails should be installed at both sides of ramps and stairs and at the outer edges of drop curbs. Handrails shall be installed at 0.90 meters and 0.70 meters above steps or ramps. For protection at great heights, they may be installed at 1 meter to 1.06 meters. Extension of handrails, 300 mm, provided at the start and end of ramps and stairs. Hand grips, 30 mm to 50 mm. Minimum clearance to wall, 50 mm. Minimum clearance to ledges, 40 mm. Open spaces. Where open spaces are provided, the blind can become particularly disoriented. Therefore, it is extremely helpful if any walkway or paths can be given divine edges, either by the use of planters with dwarf walls or a grass verge, or similar which provides a texture different from the path. Signages Signs should be located at points conveniently seen even by a person on a wheelchair and those with visual impairments. Simple and easy to understand. Uses contrasting colors and contrasting gray values. Minimum headroom in walkways, 2 meters.
sign-on walls and doors should be located at a maximum height of 1.6 meters and a minimum height of 1.40 meters. Signages labeling public rooms and places should have raised symbols, letters, or numbers with minimum height of 1 mm. Braille symbols should be included in signs indicating public places and safety routes. Crossings In order to reduce the exposure time to vehicular traffic, all at-grade crossings should be as near perpendicular to the carriageway as possible. Be located at the narrowest, most convenient part of the carriageway. Have a central refugees of at least 1.5 meters depth, preferably 2 meters, provided as a mid-crossing shelter where the width of the carriageway to be crossed exceeds 10 meters. All crossings should be located close if not contiguous with the normal pedestrian desire line. Provide tactile blocks in the immediate vicinity of crossings as an aid to the blind. The tactile surface has to be sufficiently high enough to be felt through the sole of the shoe but low enough not to cause pedestrian to trip or to affect the mobility of wheelchair users. The most beneficial form of crossing for PWD is the light-controlled crossing with synchronized audible signals. The flashing green period required for the disabled should be determined on the basis of a walking speed of 0.90 meters per second rather than 1.2 meters per second, which is what is normally used. The minimum period should not be less than 6 seconds or the crossing distance times 0.90 meters per second, whichever is the greater. Parking Parking spaces for the disabled should allow enough space for a person to transfer to a wheelchair from a vehicle. Accessible parking spaces should be located as close as possible to building entrances or to accessible entrances. Whenever or wherever possible, accessible parking spaces should be perpendicular or to an angle to the road or circulation aisles. Accessible parking slot should have a minimum width of 3.70 meters. A walkway from accessible spaces of 1.2 meters clear width shall be provided between the front ends of parked cars. Provide signages and never locate the parking slot in sloping areas. Entrances Entrances should be accessible from arrival and departure points of the interior lobby. In case entrances are not on the same level of the site arrival grade, ramps should be provided as access to the entrance level. Entrances with vestibules shall be provided a level area with at least 1.8 meters depth and 1.5 meters width. Ramps. Changes in level require a ramp except when served by a drop curb, an elevator, or other mechanical devices. Minimum clear width of ramps, 1.2 meters. Maximum gradient of ramps, 1 is 12. The length of a ramp should not exceed 6 meters if the gradient is 1 is to 12. Longer ramps whose gradient is 1 is to 12 shall be provided with landings not less than 1.5 meters. A level area not less than 1.8 meters should be provided at the top and bottom of any ramp. Handrails will be provided on both sides of the ramp at 0.70 meters and 0.90 meters from the ramp level. Ramps shall be equipped with curbs on both sides with a minimum height of 0.10 meters. Any ramp with a rise greater than 0.20 meters and leads down towards a vehicular area should have a railing across the full width of its lower end, not less than 1.8 meters from the foot of the ramp. Doors Minimum clear width 
1.8 meters. 1.2 meters minimum width of corridor allowed. Outswinging doors should be provided at storage rooms, closets, and accessible restroom stalls. Latching or non-latching hardware should not require wrist action or fine finger manipulation. Doorknobs and other hardware should be located between 0.82 meters and 1.06 meters above the floor. 0.90 is preferred. Vertical pull handles centered at 1.06 meters above the floor are prepared to horizontal pull bars for swing doors or doors with locking devices. Doors along major circulation routes should be provided with kick plates made of durable materials at a height of 0.30 meters to 0.40 meters. Thresholds Threshold shall be kept to a minimum. Whenever necessary, thresholds and sliding door tracks shall have a maximum height of 25 mm and preferably a ramp. Switches. Manual switches shall be positioned within 1.2 meters to 1.3 meters above the floor. Manual switches should be located no further than 0.20 from the latch side of the door. Corridors. Minimum width of corridors, 1.20 meters. Provide turnabout spaces with a minimum area of 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters, spaced at a maximum of 12 meters. Turnabout spaces should also be provided at a dead end or within 3.5 meters of every dead end. Washroom plus toilets. Accessible water closet stall shall have a minimum area of 1.7 meters by 1.8 meters. Minimum number of PWD toilet stalls per sex. One if the number of water closets is 20 or less. Two if the number of water closets is more than 20. Maximum height of water closets, 0.45 meters. Maximum height of flush control, 1.2 meters. The signage for men's washroom door shall be an equilateral triangle, 300 mm per side with the vertex pointing upward. The signages for women's washroom shall be a circle with a 300 mm diameter. The totally blind could touch the edge of the signs and easily determine whether it is straight or curved. Maximum height of lavatories, 0.80 meters. For lavatories, provide a near recess of 0.60 to 0.70 meters high and 0.50 meters deep. Urinals should have an elongated lip. The maximum height of the lip should be 0.48 meters. Stairs. Tread surfaces should be a slip-resistant material. Nosings may be provided with slip-resistant strips to further minimize slipping. Slanted nosings are preferred to projecting nosings or open stringers. The nosing should be marked with a color and gray value, which is in high contrast to the gray value of the rest of the stairs. A tactile strip 0.30 meters wide shall be installed before hazardous areas such as sudden changes in floor levels and at the top and bottom of stairs. Elevators Accessible elevators should be located gated not more than 30 meters from the entrance. Accessible elevators shall have a minimum dimension of 1.1 meters by 1.4 meters inside clear dimension of the elevator car. Center line heights for the topmost buttons shall be between 0.90 meters to 1.2 meters from the floor. Button sizes at elevator control panels shall have a minimum diameter of 20 mm and should have a maximum depression depth of 1 mm.
fencing for roadworks. All excavations, whether on the road or footway, must be adequately protected. The height of the rail or fence should be at least 1 meter from the adjacent surface. The railing should incorporate a topping rail to assist the blind, and this should not be greater than 0.35 meters above the adjacent surface. Sides should be ramped if projecting more than 25 mm. Footway should be completely covered if width between excavation and edge of walkway is less than 1.2 meters. Minimum walkway, 1.2 meters. Preferred, 1.5 meters. Signs should not always reduce the available walkway width to less than 1.2 meters. Signs should be located on verges or similar whenever these are available. Textured symbols on plant. 